Muhammad, the self-proclaimed prophet of Islam, bought, owned, sold, and traded black African slaves. He called Ethiopians raisin heads and said that Satan looks like a black man. Muhammad warned his followers that a black man would eventually destroy the Kaaba. According to Muhammad, if you dream about a black woman, it's because a plague is coming. Under Sharia, the penalty for calling Muhammad a black man is death, Muhammad's followers institutionalized the African slave trade more than a thousand years before the United States even existed. Ironically, in northern Nigeria today, if you say something offensive about Muhammad, a Sharia court will sentence you to death. The BBC reports. A musician in Nigeria's northern state of Kano has been sentenced to death by hanging for blaspheming against the Prophet Muhammad. Wow, the Prophet Muhammad. So Muhammad was a prophet, according to the BBC. I guess if your organization is the center of decades-long pedophilia scandals, your best bet may be to throw your support behind a prophet who was certainly no stranger to molesting little girls. An upper Sharia court in the Hasawa Filin Haki area of the state said Yahya Sharif Aminu, 22, was guilty of committing blasphemy for a song he circulated via WhatsApp in March. Mr. Sharif Aminu did not deny the charges. Judge Khalid Aliyu Muhammad Khani said he could appeal against the verdict. States across Muslim-majority northern Nigeria use both secular law and Sharia law, which does not apply to non-Muslims. Only one of the death sentences passed by Nigeria's Sharia courts has been carried out since they were reintroduced in 1999. The singer, who is currently in detention, had gone into hiding after he composed the song. Protesters had burnt down his family home and gathered outside the headquarters of the Islamic police, known as the Hispa, demanding action against him. Critics said the song was blasphemous as it praised an imam from the Tijaniya Muslim Brotherhood to the extent it elevated him above the Prophet Muhammad. So, this wasn't a non-Muslim making fun of Muhammad, this was a Muslim singing a song that praised someone more than Muhammad. Praising someone more than Muhammad was enough to get this Nigerian Muslim a death sentence for blasphemy. The leader of the protesters that called for the musician's arrest in March, Idris Ibrahim, told the BBC that the judgment will serve as a warning to others contemplating towing Yahya's path. When I heard about the judgment, I was so happy because it showed our protest wasn't in vain. This judgment will serve as a deterrent to others who feel they could insult our religion or prophet and go scot-free, he said. Who is Yahya Sharif Aminu? Few people had heard of him before his arrest in March. An Islamic gospel musician, might want to look up the word gospel, he is not well known in northern Nigeria, and his songs were not popular outside his Tijaniya sect, who have many such musicians within their ranks. Where on earth did Muslim judges get the idea that people should be sentenced to death for singing songs that insult Muhammad? Well, when Muhammad took Mecca, he gave his followers a list of people who were to be killed even if they were found hiding beneath the curtains of the Kaaba. Let's read about three of them in Ibn Asak, pages 550 to 551. Another was Abdullah ibn Qatal of Banu Taym ibn Ghalib. He had become a Muslim, and the apostle sent him to collect the poor tax in company with one of the Ansar. He had with him a freed slave who served him. He was a Muslim. When they halted, he ordered the latter to kill a goat for him and prepare some food and went to sleep. When he woke up, the man had done nothing, so he attacked and killed him and apostatized. He had two singing girls, Fartana and her friend, who used to sing satirical songs about the apostle, so he ordered that they should be killed with him. Abdullah killed someone and apostatized, so Muhammad ordered his followers to kill him. They found him clinging to the curtains of the Kaaba, and they ripped open his belly. But Muhammad also issued a death sentence for the two singing girls, and all they did was sing satirical songs about him. Fourteen centuries later, people are still being sentenced to death for songs deemed blasphemous 
to Islam. Fortunately, YouTube hasn't fully submitted to Sharia courts yet, although clearly not for a lack of trying. So we're still somewhat free, for the moment, to criticize Muhammad. And that's exactly what we'll be doing every night this week on my channel. I'll pin links to our shows in the description box if you'd like a future where people aren't sentenced to death for blasphemy, join us live. Oh, and if you'd like sources proving that Muhammad bought, owned, sold, and traded black African slaves, be sure to check out my videos, Muhammad, the White Prophet with Black Slaves, and How Muhammad Ali Was Deceived by Islam. Islam has been oppressing Africans since it started. Time for a change, don't you think?